Hey everybody, this is Captain Rob Fordyce. I just wanted to introduce you to my 38 uh, Sea Hunter CTS. I chose this particular model because it just fits my needs perfectly. I don't get to choose the days that I fish. Weather-wise, I need a boat that's gonna perform well in, in nasty weather. I need something that's gonna be comfortable for my, my clients. And when I'm filming the TV shows, I need a lot of storage for all of my camera, camera gear, as well as all my fishing gear. So I chose the 38, it fits my needs. It's, it's small enough that I can get into reasonable dock spaces, but the fish, the boat fish is very big. It takes rough seas well. I have it powered with twin 600 Mercuries. You can, you can power this boat with quad 300s, quad 400s, or twin 600s. I prefer the Mercury 600s. The counter rotating props really lock this boat in when it's running in rough seas. Has a 600 gallon fuel capacity, 20 gallons of fresh water. In the rear, we have two 55 gallon bait wells, so you have 110 gallons of bait well storage. And we're gonna do a little walkthrough and I'll show you all the other amenities to this boat. Let's start right here with the console. You can see we have a custom console, you know, keep, keep my electronics out of the weather, weather. This comes off. I have this set up with two 16 inch SIMRADs, two VHF SIMRADs, as well as my fusion stereo system. This, this, this particular setup works well for me. You could go with maybe one size bigger screen. I think this, this is perfect. Still got a little room for other things if I wanted to add another gauge here or here. Have my Mercury smart gauge here, joystick, throttles, adjustable steering wheel, all my switches for all my lighting, my bait wells, my pumps, everything out of the weather, not exposed. They all light up when they're on. The other amenity I have in, in my 38 CTS is I have an upper station. I like to be elevated sometimes so I can see the fish or running and looking for bait. Has an access door right here. I stand on the console, gives me much more height visibility when I'm in certain situations where I need to see. For me, this upper station is a great attribute to my daily fishing. You know, being able to see the spread, see a fish come up on the baits is, is a tremendous advantage. Up here, I have a nine inch Simrad screen. Again, I have a tilt steering wheel. I can have it at any angle I want. A couple of cup holders, my throttles, my trim tabs. I have two light bars for coming home late at night. I want to be able to see the markers. I have a 28, 28 inch uh, Simrad radar display. Two antennas, my, my navigation light, my outriggers. This boat's rigged out as simple as, as it can be without, with, without having any loss of amenities. I, I'm not, I have to go under bridges a lot in the Florida Keys. I need, there's a height requirement that I need to be able to fit under. So having this is a, a huge advantage without having the big tower. One thing I like that Sea Hunter has done, where do I put this when I'm out there fishing? They made a nice little storage spot inside the console. It fits perfectly. Doesn't rattle. They have magnet magnets here to hold the lid upright. As you can see here, I have all my breakers in here as well. Easy access if I have any issues. I had them put a head in this boat. Um, my wife likes amenities like that. It's very, very user-friendly, easy to get in, get in and out access-wise. Stays very dry in there for, for daily stuff that you want to store. As we walk up towards the bow, we'll start with the anchor locker. The cool thing about a cat boat is the width you have in the bow. Unlike a mono, mono hull that comes to a point. So in the center, we have our anchor locker our typical fortress anchor system held down by our brackets here that is standard for most Sea Hunter models. Standard 300 feet of uh, anchor rope, 10 feet of chain. These compartments are not separated, but this gives me access to this side of this compartment where I store all my dock lines. I actually keep a, my buoy in here to my anchor puller. And on this side, I got more dock lines. As we move back, the two front hatches on each side 
are eight and a half feet long, tremendously deep, macerated fish boxes. They're insulated. If, if you're going on a big trip like to the Bahamas or a tuna trip or overnight trip where you need a lot of fish storage and ice storage, these apartments are, work great for that. What I use, I use this, this side for my, my fish. I use this side for my, my rod storage. Again, these things are eight and a half feet long. So if you look, when I'm storing my rods overnight, they go in here, they're out of the wetter, they're safe. I can have a lockable latch on here if I wanted. And I got about 20 rods in there right now and there's room for more. I also keep all my floating floaties in here and sandbar gear. I put that on the bottom, put the rods on top so the, the reels are buffered from, from the bouncing. As you come back, another cooler slash fish box slash dry box. It's your choice in how you want to rig this and how, how you want to use it. Also, extremely comfortable seating for extra passengers. I like to store my gaffs here for easy access when I'm fishing. I've removed midship. Again, another big box here. This box is like six feet long, about 40 inches deep for extra storage, extra stuff that I need to store in the boat to keep it dry. As I move aft back to the helm area in our leaning post, I have all my, my, my dry gear in here. I keep my paperwork for the boat in here, my battery switches, easy access. I can get to them quickly if I need to. As we come back to the rear of the leaning post, we have our cooler. It's a 100 quart cooler, very insulated, drains on each side. You can plug them up or keep them open to let the ice drain, it's up to you. This is one of my favorite amenities of the boat. This is the working area for me. I do a lot of, when, when I'm sail fishing or, or bottom anchored up on a wreck, bottom fishing, I need my tackle close because I'm fishing off the rear of the boat they have all these tackle storage. I got extra lines here. Keep my fillet knives. All my tackle stored neatly, dry. Got leaders, leader systems in here, all marked, easy, easy to read. Stays very dry in there. We have our rod holders. We have eight rod holders here. We have three here, four cup holders, four cup holders on the console four cup holders up each gunnel. This rod totally has, as a total has 40 actually rod holders. You can set these boats up any way you want. There's guys I've seen as have as many as 70. And one th cool thing about Sea Hunter is they will, they will rig the boat the way you want it rigged. A lot of companies don't do that. As we go to the rear hatch here, this is another unique thing about a Sea Hunter that actually has easy access to your bilges, it has a sea chest, so my bait wells always stay plumbed. I don't ever have issues with weeds getting in on the intakes, or in, I, I went through all this effort to catch bait. Now all of a sudden my pumps aren't working. The sea chest keeps everything primed perfectly. I can adjust the, the flow rate for different kinds of baits. Ballyhoo like less flow, pilchers like more flow, so forth, so on. Again, I got 110 gallons back here. The rear of the boat. Easy access, standard door here. No water comes in if you take C in, if you're, you know, stern into the wind. This gives me access to my dive platform. There's a pop-out ladder right here. Easy access in and out of the water. If you're diving, snorkeling at the sandbar, what have you. I'm fortunate that I can pretty much be in a boat, any boat that I want to be in. I chose Sea Hunter because I think they're the best boat built, period.